Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Tapped Out Auto. I hope y'all are uh, enjoying the footing so far. Um, so yes, I took a little bit of a break, went inside, had me some pizza. I was in this stuff turned me up boy. And uh, did a little bit more research and I found out how to pull this bumper cover off. The only actual video that I could find that would uh, show me anything was uh, I think the I think the subscriber is uh, Prince Health. Um, that's the only thing I find on there. So hey, thanks Prince Health. He didn't show me like uh, I'm showing you guys step by step. You know where everything is. He already had the front bumper off, but he gave me enough clue and everything which I know where to go. So that's cool. Um, that's actually awesome. I'm a little stuck. But that's okay. Um, engine parts, stuff like that, that's the, you know, it's not really the easy, easy stuff, but getting some of this cosmetic stuff off now, guys, some of this shit can be a pain in the ass, especially with your foreign car. So, uh, it's getting about dark. I say here in probably mm, 20 minutes, it's gonna be dark as hell outside, but that's okay. It's dark as hell in here. So I'm gonna try to work on this thing as long as I can. I got the old, uh, fire blaster going on down here get it a little warm in here um, so I did edit uh, my video that I just released and uh, I don't like it that you have to publish the video and then you can edit the video you know it would be nicer and stuff like that if I can edit the video before I publish it but when I went to YouTube YouTube editor, it would not let me edit my film until I published it onto my Facebook. It's weird. But, uh, I didn't edit everything and stuff like that, and, uh, yeah. Hello? Got to not, uh, forget to leave my, I keep leaving my coats everywhere. And then every time I go outside, I'm freezing my ass off. But okay, we're gonna get the bumper off today. We're gonna get the radiator symbol out. I like to get this, you know, this plastic shit off of here. I like to get the headlights off. I like to do get all that done by tonight. That's why tomorrow I can have it out, and hopefully, I get by tomorrow I can have where I'm ready to take uh, take the engine out. At least that's my plan. Um. I'm really hoping I can take it out this way, and I don't see why not. And uh, I know you guys are probably thinking, wow, this is a lot of extra work and stuff like that, um, where I can just drop it out the bottom. I'm going to tell you guys, dropping this shit out the bottom ain't fun. I mean, there's a, you got the steering, the rack and pinion steering. You got, the, I mean, just so much shit to pull the undercarry out of one of these. It's unreal. Now, like I said, if I get to a point where I do all this work and I'm like, oh, shit, I can't do it this way and have to go and do it, you know, drop it out the bottom, then I will. But, guys, I really think I could take this motor out from the top. And uh, I want to see if I can do it. There are no videos about it. And if I can show you guys how to pull this thing out from the top, then you don't, you know, you can do this at your house. Actually, you do it actually out the other way, too. But, yeah. So, supposed to be two 10 millimeters and another clip, like right up underneath this area. And that's what's holding the damn bumper on. Plus, yes. I want to show y'all guys this. And I think I can do it on this side. Hopefully, I can do it without the little, yeah, got a little energy drink. Um, well, i tell you what, let's just, uh, cause, uh, the, um, like I said, I think it was, uh, Professional Health, I think that was the guy's, uh, name, his Buick Enclave was sitting on 24s, I thought that was kind of cool, now, another thing I want to have a peeve about, is see here guys I have to have the camcorder hooked up to 
the cord. Now this camcorder is brand new. And it, it, supposedly this battery life is supposed to last two hours if not more. Okay. I took and I charged this thing up all night last night. Did not mess with it at all. And when I went in here, it was, the battery is pretty much dead when um, I went inside the house a while ago. And I thought I had three hours of footage. feel like I was out here three hours. And the video was only an hour and 37 minutes long. Now, I've been out here a couple hours before that, before I did any filming, fixing the garage and some other stuff. But, uh, yeah, guys, I'm kind of, um, kind of burnt hurt that uh, I was told that this, you know, I looked on the videos and stuff like that, and even Sony says that this battery's supposed to last over two hours, and it don't. Alright, guys, let's get back to this car. See this trim piece right here? This trim piece comes off, and I'm guessing this whole thing right here, even though there's a crease right here, that crease, Evidently, this whole thing right here, all the way up here, is a bumper cover. So this trim piece, you've got to be real careful. There's two clips behind here. That if you don't be careful, you can break these. And there's two clips. You've got to pop this off. And then them two 10-millimeter bolts. And this thing comes right out. And like I said, guys. Oops, sorry my fingers are in the way. And like I say, guys. I don't want to break anything. If it takes a little bit of time for me to go into the house, guys, and look up a little bit of information on how to do this right, I will. No problem. It doesn't bother me. I've been a mechanic a really long time, and I'm going to tell you this. If a mechanic tells you that they know everything about a vehicle, take your shit somewhere else. I ain't even playing. There is no way the mechanic knows everything. Now, there's a few cars out there, especially the older ones and stuff like that. You can probably find some mechanics that's got good knowledge about them. But, there's no way that a mechanic, a good mechanic, is going to tell you that they know everything about any vehicle that comes in the building. There's no fucking way. None. Bring a Rolls Royce in there and be like, fix that shit. Then let's see how much he knows every fucking thing. I can't stand mechanics when they do that. And the sad part of it is, there's a lot of people believe them. A lot of people are like, oh, you know everything about a car? Well, let me give you mine. And then all of a sudden, six months later, it gets towed to a guy like me. That will admit, I don't know everything about cars. There's a lot of cars I know a lot about. Like, uh, you know, Dodges, even though, I have to tell you, I don't think I like Dodges as much as I like Chevrolet. But I will straight up tell you that a lot of Dodges that I do know a lot about. And there's some Dodges I don't know a lot about. There is some Buicks that I know a lot about. And there's some music that I don't know a lot about. Ooh. Really want to turn that heater back on, but where I got to lay. And... Oh, hopefully I can get these two bolts off. Pop these little two trim pieces off. So I was close, guys. Let's say I wasn't a hundred percent on the goal line but I was going in the right direction of taking this bumper off uh, like I said I'd love for y'all guys to come down here and join me but it is pretty sloppy underneath here so let's see what he's talking about Spoke. Oh, let's see here. I do 
see two 10 millimeter bolts in the clip, but they're more on this side and the other side. I don't see nothing in the middle. Of course, this was a 2012 Buick Enclave, but it looked like the identical bumper. I'm gonna guess that these are the two 10 millimeter bolts he was talking about. Uh, we're gonna take these two out, and there is two black or a uh, black clip right next to these 10 millimeters. I'll tell you what, guys, I'm gonna get some next there. It's getting freaking cold on this floor. Well, I'm gonna hurry and get these two damn bolts off, get these two clips off, so we can get the old fire blaster going back on here. Damn, it's cold. By the way, did I say my neighbors love me? Take off these black little clips that are right next to the bolts. And like I said, guys, when you get up underneath here and you look, you can see there's two telemeter meter bolts on both sides with two black clips right next to them. Oh. And then we got to get that trimming off. stuff right above my nose. There we go. Pull that out. Alright guys. I don't see anything in the eyes up out the door. Then we gotta get a few side pieces. And then I think that's it guys. Those in there. There. Yeah, this car actually, uh, I really don't do nothing too much during the winter. And I jinked myself, guys. I told myself that I wasn't going to do any motor jobs this winter. I did. Before it even snowed, I told myself, I'm not doing any more big jobs. I'm done. I'm going to turn on this fire blaster for a minute. Just stick it with alternators, solders, you know, stuff like that. Easy stuff, you know. Second motor that I've done this year in the winter. They're not going to be the last, neither. Uh, I need a still uh, some parts for both of the trucks now. And uh, the guy is in the process of getting that other truck and I'm going to be pulling the motor and transmission out of it for the truck. So, yeah. Now this thing right here actually came as a blessing. Uh, my daughter's uh, on hard times and uh, she needs a car. She needs something to get back and forth to work. She's got a, my little grandbaby and uh, she needs something reliable to get back and forth to work. I happen to know where a car is for sale. 
so uh, that's why I'm doing this job is to make the funds up to get her a vehicle so she can take care of her kids. My grandbaby.
Now you can probably hear me a little better. Alright. What the hell does it feel like? Well, it looks like I'm going to have to get back underneath. There's uh, two bolts right here in the damn corner that uh, need to come out. The guy on the video forgot to mention them two bolts. At least I didn't watch enough of the video. But, uh, I say he had a 2012. That's a 2011. I'm gonna tell you that. must be barking at me. Alright guys. So yeah, that's what I'm uh, doing this job for so I can purchase my daughter a vehicle. I do know how to edit my video, so if this gets to be too long, I can always shorten this ending up. I had to get a swivel and a couple long extensions. Okay. Hopefully, this will fucking, uh, hopefully, guys, this will work. Um, kind of, uh, I have to say, guys, it's kind of, uh, weird but they make it so hard to take this bumper cover off but Chevrolet I mean I have to say I must have spoke out of turn a little bit ago when I gave uh 
gave the channel a thumbs up because he said this shit was easy and I want to tell you guys. It's easy. And I know these two screws got to come out. The thing of it is, fucking hell. Got two screws that bolt into the fender. And the only thing of it is, is you know, these cars are mass pr production on the line. Oh. I wonder how the hell. Eh. They gotta come off. I'm hoping I can get a couple longer stitches in here. Go that way. Lazy, you have to be so damn hard. Can you tell me that? I mean, hell, the way this looks like and stuff like that, what do they do? Put the entire fenders, headlights, and the whole front grill into one assembly? What the hell? Guys, I'm gonna try getting them two with a wrench. Whoops, sorry guys. I say I need to fix that tightener on here. Turn a little bit of this fire blaster on. Today is big.
Whoever snaps onto this piece, I'm afraid to break that piece off. So, now I have learned something. Now I'm going to try something. And then I'm going to let y'all guys know if I messed up or not. I'm not afraid to say it. Did I break anything? No. Did not break nothing. So, down here. I'm going to set the old fire blaster off here because I'm sweating my ass off now. Okay, guys. Whoa. Let's see if I can't... Uh, Get y'all some light down here. Let me get y'all a little bit closer. Get y'all to see. Let me get this. There we go. There we go, guys. All right, guys. You see me? This a little plastic uh, trim right here. This has got to come off. You got to be real careful. Pry it up just a little bit. And then there's a lock deal in here. And I'm going to have to get a pair of a screwdriver to help me with this one. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, the damn uh, little plastic piece in there that's holding it is cocked sideways. So, we need to get uh, a helper out of here. Alright, this shows this camera being green. I'm guessing the battery's charged up. We're going to unplug this. No, the battery's still not charged. So, you know what? Gonna leave the damn thing plugged in. That's what we're gonna do. Oh, the noise is going on. Right All righty. Okay, guys. Let's pry this up a little bit. Got a little plastic tab in there. Thing of it is, this one here is cocked sideways. Why it's cocked sideways? It's cocked sideways. Uh -huh. Oh, I know I'm having such a problem, guys. Well, it didn't remind me. I have to take a screw out. Damn, torque pit. Ugh. Oh. Alright. That's why it was being so damn difficult. Now, I know the other side, I took off them three screws to get the bumper off, but it looks like the bumper just clips on there. Now, I did try pulling on that other side, but it had so much resistance that I was afraid to break them clips. So, yeah, I did take time to take them three bolts out. Now, when I pop this one out, hopefully, it gets pops out and I don't have to do what I did the other side okay that one is free that one's free there we go I'm go for a I think I'm gonna go for one more torch pad here Do not 
not want to break this trim. I imagine that they don't sell this shit by colors. I seriously doubt if they have one of these, this color in the junkyard. I don't know, they probably do. But I don't want it coming out of my pocket. And I'm not going to charge the customers if I break something. That's another thing I've noticed a lot about mechanics around here. They break something, they charge the customer for it. I don't get that. I've never done that. Ever. Alright, they gave me a little bit more freedom. Bumper, pop off without doing all that crazy shit that I did the other side. This car has been a part before, guys. This car has been a part before. on the bottom but it did pop off of there so I did take them three well I'm not gonna say I take them three bolts off for no reason um, I'd rather take them three bolts off than wind up breaking something so that's cool we're making progress guys that is all that matters this little piece right here ain't nothing but three little bolts to put back in. And that'd be good. So, I need to grab. So, you guys, I at least want to get the front bumper off of here, the uh, headlights, and maybe this core support. Once all that's taken off, I have a feeling that the rest is going to go pretty smoothly. Yep, as y'all can see, I don't have very much room to move around on this side. But, yeah, we do what we do, huh, guys? Goddamn fucking Torx bits. Fucking shovel, I ain't got damn Torx bits. What the hell happened to good old bolts? Damn! I'm about to drive me damn nuts over this damn car, shall I? Fuck! Like, holy shit! I don't think y'all fucking make up y'all's mind. What the fuck y'all want to use? Y'all want to use silk Phillips bits? Torx bits? Push pins? Zip ties? I think Chevrolet just gets a bundle of bolts, nuts, zip ties, push pins. I think they just go around and be like, huh? Put them on everything. This would have been a lot easier if Chevrolet did bolts instead of these dumbass torque screws. And understand why the workers on the Chevrolet plant have strikes all the time. They keep saying it's the amount of money they get paid. Well, if they have to deal with this shit, I can understand. I can really understand. So, that channel that I watched today, thumbs up, man. I mean, I wish you kind of showed us step-by-step step on how to take this bumper apart. 
but your advice helped me out tremendously. And when I get done here, guys, I'm going to show y'all everything. Like I say, you're trying to hold the camera and do this. It's kind of a pain in But I've only seen two bolts. So I just got one out. We are free. We did it, guys. We did it. Oh. Ooh. Give each other a flat pat on the back. We did it, guys. God, we have some damn room in here. And then we're going to spin you guys back around over here. About like that. We got to get some light on the subject. I wonder if that works out better for you guys. A little light. In it. I'm uh, trying to do all, learn all the lighting setup and everything. And, Man, truth, guys, it's not damn easy, that's for sure. All right, let's back y'all up a little bit. There we go. Yeah, you're probably crooked. You'll look crooked. There we go, guys. Sorry, it's taking me so long to get everything going because fucking bungee strap. There's light here. Is not doing me any fucking favors. It keeps wanting the damn twist towards the camera. Okay, guys. Yeah. Oof. Here it is, guys. We got it all. Look at that. Alright, now we just gotta... Oh. We got one little plug here to disconnect the... There we go. Alright, guys. Ah, whew, look at that. Alright. Let me show you. Oh, fuck that light. Alright, see this here here? Got one plug that you unplug there. Same as on the other side. You have one, two, three. Well, let me get y'all over here a little bit. What y'all say? There you go. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six seven bolts and then that trim piece you got to really be careful about take it apart and then the same ones on the other side holy shit this is one heavy ass bumper cover jeez now we're going to take this very heavy and very large bumper cover we're going to gently sit it Right here, on top of the car. Just like that. That's what's it's safe. It's not getting scratched. Alright guys. Let's see what we got going on in here. Oh, this thing. Whoops. Yeah, I think it's all the way back. Alright guys. More 
pine cones. And pine cones all over this fucking car. Okay, guys. Let's see where we're at now. The bumper cover is off. You know what? Next time I do that, I think it's going to go a lot easier. Alright. Now, these motors are the same motors that they put in the 2011 Cadillacs. Um, the motor that we got from Jasper is a remanufactured motor, completely rebuilt, and um, it came out of a Cadillac. Says it right on the paper. So this Buick Enclave is going to have a Cadillac motor in it. Okay. Now, take this cover out. I want to put my uh, I'll put my uh, jacket back on here. It's kind of nippy at night. Now that um, I think it said professional health or professor health was the name of that guy's uh, channel. Now he took off the bumper cover because he was changing out the radiator. Now I don't see that you need to take off the bumper cover to change out the radiator, but he did it. So yeah, that's how I actually had to go find out how to do this. I had to go look at something completely that I wouldn't have been looking for just to figure this out. But you know what, guys? We figured it out. So, we need the 10 millimeter back. Make sure I didn't lose any tools. I cannot afford losing any tools. Alright guys, we are going to take this plastic whatever the hell this is supposed to be off. in here. Now. Alright, those are bolted in. So this will come out. That is loose. And this. This will come off. Alright, yeah, we're in good shape, guys. We are in good shape. shame nowadays guys is the economy is trying to kill off the working man and I don't understand that you know it's just getting harder and harder these days to do anything you know people like well McDonald's is hiring well motherfucker go work for McDonald's take your ass and go work for McDonald's y'all know that I hear people all the damn time when somebody hears that they need a job, I hear these motherfuckers say, well, go work at McDonald's. 
you make twelve dollars an hour. No, you fucking don't make twelve dollars an hour. You make minimum wage. And then you got so many kids, old people working for McDonald's that that uh, you can't get no damn hours. None. My daughter works for McDonald's. And that's how it is. You can't make no damn money. I mean, the average rent for a two-bedroom house around here is like nine hundred a month, nine fifty a month for a two-bedroom shit house, nothing special, nine hundred fifty dollars a month and higher. And you get damn lucky if you find a two-bedroom house for nine hundred fifty dollars. Damn lucky. I ain't even playing with you. Now, I don't know any McDonald's on this planet not unless you've been working there for 32 years and you're like this old manager that can barely scratch your ass and a pine cone guys you don't even make $950 a month working at McDonald's you don't you really don't and yes you do have to take this bumper cover off to get the headlights out. I will show you on that next one all what I'm doing. There's a... Oh, it's gonna make me go get a 10 millimeter. Dang it guys, I'm sorry. I gotta go get a 10 millimeter wrench. And I'll show you why on this other side. Ratchet wrench. I um, my wife bought me. I said a ratchet wrench is at a trading post place one time that they swivel the back end swivels, and uh, I think she got those things cheap. I think she paid like twelve dollars for a set of four or five of them, and I thought, ah, them some bitches are gonna break. As soon as I use them. Y'all ain't gonna tell you what, I had put the stake on them cheap some bitches. And they still working. I just can't believe all this hell taking headlight out. I mean, way too many damn boats. We got one, two, three, four, five, six bolts. Right? Six bolts to take the headlight out. Six bolts. And none extra. Six bolts. I guess that's kind of like, uh, what, six bolts to take the damn uh, air cleaner off? That's insane. It's just got one big old plug. That's it. I'm gonna put this in the car. But I just imagine how much these things cost. Um. There we go. This is an eight car, so no problem. Alright guys, and I told y'all that I was gonna show y'all over here what's going on so I got this ratchet wrench this is all right I am gonna unplug this camera for a little bit all right it says it's just about charged yeah this thing kind of uh, you know I have to say that I am kind of 
butt hurt on Sony. I bought this thing brand new. I did not buy it used because I wanted something that I could rely on. And uh, I am kind of butt hurt that the damn uh, battery does not last as, they, as long as they said. Like, uh, right now it jumped down to one bar and it's been charging for over two hours. Okay, guys, but I'm going to show you what I'm doing here right quick. Okay. This bolt right here has got to come off. This bolt right here has got to come off. So you have to take the bumper cover off to take your headlight out. So it's this bolt, this bolt, this bolt, this bolt, and this screw. I think that was a Phillips screw that we took out of there. But, one, two, three, four, five. Five bolts to take your headlight out. All right, guys. Shall we go down? We'll put y'all back on the tripod and plug y'all in, because we don't want to lose no footage, do we? No. We are going to be... And this until the end. And don't forget to like and give me a thumbs up, guys. Uh, I tell you what, I don't know exactly what I'm doing, but on this YouTube thing, that is. And uh, I'm really seriously trying to get things going. You know what I'm saying? So, uh... Anyway, guys, let's make an Instagram picture. I've been having people on Instagram. My Instagram has been blowing up, by the way. If y'all got anything that y'all want to tell me, anything that y'all want to ask me, go to uh, Tapped Out Auto on uh, on Instagram, and uh, you'll see a picture of the. Silver truck, Billy Bob Thornton, on there. And, uh, just let me know um, what you think of the channel. Alright. Hey, right, guys. We have a picture of me and you guys. Yeah. Yeah, please like, subscribe, give a thumbs up, and uh, let me know what y'all guys think. I'd like to get up to 100 subscribers by the end of the month. I figured 28 days, 29 days, this is February, so I can't remember if it's a 29 day or 28 day month this year, but I'd like to get up to 100 subscribers. So tell your friends and everything, I'm only looking for 100 subscribers, not 100,000 like most people. That would be cool to have one in plaques though. But yeah, I would like to have at least 100 subscribers, if not more, by the end of this month. That would really be cool, guys. Making new content. So yeah, guys. Come check me out at YouTube. Oops, I better uh, even know my deal's on there. Tapped out auto. Yeah. Oh. Another thing I don't like about this phone, guys, is for some reason, and my phone's messed up. Um. My girl thought that I was full of crap and everything. She thought I was just taking my phone. But when you uh, use talk text, it, uh, the words and stuff doesn't come down. No, I, if, not every you scream into the phone, it doesn't. All right, guys. Get through some Instagram on there. I ain't expecting to try to get up to so many, uh, so many people and stuff like that, guys, where I get 
whether they demonetized or whatever it is, and YouTube starts paying me for this shit. I don't want that. I just like showing you guys good content. I do this for a hobby. And yes, sometimes I have to do it because I have to do it. And these are good people that own this car. They had a. Uh, they don't deserve getting railroaded on this car. They do not. And so I'm helping them out. And on top of that, I'm helping myself out because I really need to get the money to get my daughter a car. And I already found the car. The guy ain't no big hurry getting rid of it, so I know it ain't going nowhere until I get this done. Oh, I'm trying my hardest to get this car running for these people. Do a good job for them. And helping out my daughter and my grandbaby. Well, I'm actually glad that I'm doing this because we have a lot of deer up here. And I'll tell you one thing. If I ever have one of these things that comes in that needs a headlight replaced, at least I have a ballpark figure of what to tell me it costs because I know just to get this headlight assembly replaced in the shop, labor-wise, I can't see them not charging me 150 bucks. If not 200, and that's just for labor. And that's the truth, guys. I can see probably, probably 150, 200 dollars in labor for this. Easy. Just to change out one headlight. And no telling how much these headlights cost. I've never checked them out. And there it is, guys. Got one big plug in the back. Just pulls out. There it is right there. Big plug. Just push down the deal. Pop it right out. Man, look at all this. I think they would coat that stuff better. But most definitely going to, uh, what the hell was that? Most definitely going to, um, put some, uh, like decon or some, uh, mouse pellets or something like that in this car. But I'm guessing that lives out in the country. Alright, guys, look at this. Jeez, guys, let me show y'all guys something. I'm going to take y'all off of here. I just want to show you guys something. Look at the weld job. Hey, here, let me make sure y'all can see this. There y'all go. Whoop. There it is. Look at this weld job. And I know the customers are going to be mad at me because they keep bragging about their car, but... I do this for educational purposes too. I don't mean to rag on y'all's guy's car. I just, I speak the truth and everything. And when I see something that looks like this, it, I mean, technically guys, this right here, this right here looks like it's been hand done and not machined. So I think this car has been into a wreck, guys. I think it has. I think this car gets it has been into a wreck. I think this thing here has been pulled out because this is not like these other three welds. This one here is actually broke off the bumper. This weld right here is actually broke off the bumper. I think these two here were added on. These two here look like they were done by machine and so does this third one. But these two here do not and they're rusting pretty bad. I think whoever welded these did not spray any, um, didn't spray any paint on there to keep it from rusting but here same thing here same thing this is actually split so yeah I think at one time this car had a front end collision because this right here is nothing like over here see how pretty and clean this is and if you come over here 
See how rusty and beat up it is? So yeah, more and more looking at this car and everything, I think that this car was in a accident at one time. And I don't know if it was totaled out. It doesn't look like it. Um, and a lot of the a lot of people's like, well, the only thing you can do is just go inside the car and see if the uh, airbags have been replaced. No, that's not necessarily true, guys. I've actually seen a few of these cars get completely smashed out. I mean, this whole front end into the motor, and neither one of the airbags deployed. Um, I just went and looked at a. 2009 Ford pickup truck. The whole front end, guys, is up to the dash. Whole down front end is up to the dash. Not one airbag deployed. Not one. Yeah. Not one airbag deployed. But yeah, looking at that, it most definitely looks like that this thing has most definitely been and some kind of a fender bender at one time. Oh, all right, let's look at this here. I'll lay a couple bows, take the horn off. And I think another I think another reason why I want to take this thing off here is uh, I think I want to repaint this for these people. There's a lot of surface rust up here. There's a lot right here. You can see right here this is almost look at that guys that's good i mean look at that it's just rotten through this car is only nine years old man so i think i want to take this piece off anyways sand it down and uh repaint it it's got plastic like this right here is plastic so it's got plastic glued to it but it's pretty bad it is Especially over here on this other side. It's a it's actually got a hole rusted out over here. Yeah, look at this guys. Just crumbling. So yeah, I want to I'm not gonna leave that like that. I'm gonna I'm going to fix that for them guys. Alright, let's take out this I'm gonna I'm actually going to sand this down and repaint this too. It should have been repainted when it was fixed. And uh, it doesn't seem like it's been or anything, no. So maybe this has been replaced and not this. Maybe when this thing was wrecked, maybe it bent this and they replaced this and not this. And they just welded it where it was broke. Because I'm going to tell you one damn thing. If Chevrolet's got their quality like that, I can understand why they're going down the toilet. I say that uh, my... The people that own this car is watching this and everything. I dearly apologize for saying all this about your car. But uh, I got to let you know and stuff like that what's going on with it. You know, you see the rust. You see the mix max welding. I'd rather you do know this stuff than not to know it. Now, once this car is back together and it's running and driving. The motor and stuff is going to last longer than the car. Hopefully. Uh, got a little, couple little pops here. I want to go ahead and take this out. And it'll be a lot easier getting the radiator out. And I know y'all guys are saying, well, do you have a AC? Uh... Yeah, I have a thing to suck the AC out? No, I don't. But I'm hoping doing it this way, that I can let everything drop down, pull the motor out, and not have to worry about the AC. And it looks like I can. It looks like we're in good shape on that one. Trust me, I was a little nervous on that one too. But I think we're in pretty good shape for that. I can say, guys, I don't know how long I'm going to be working on this thing for, but I do know there's seven hours worth of uh, memory card on this thing, but we ain't going to do no seven hours. Guys, look at this door here. Whoops. Look at all these eggs. Uh, 
uh, pine cones. <laughs> oh, these pine cones. And this is like half of what I found. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I want to take this off. I want to paint it. I want to paint this. But I'm making they're still going to have this car for quite a long time since all this they're putting into it. So I just want to make sure that uh, it lasts them as much as possible. And the hell is going on here? Oh. Oh, wow, really? Huh. Oh, yeah. I can most definitely tell that the this front end has most definitely been taken apart before. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh. Now I want to show this because I did not do it. This right here. Zoom in a little bit. This right here. Looks like it's a airbag sensor of some sort. And it has been broke for quite a while. So I did not do that. And it goes. Yeah. I am going to show where this goes. So I don't get blamed for it being broke. Not that the customers will blame me for it being broke. I don't want my audience to blame me that I broke it. Alright, as y'all know, I have not touched this bumper yet. This is your bumper. And right up underneath here, let's see, alright guys, it's kind of Back this thing up a little bit. I'm way too close. Whoa! There we go. Alright, guys. See this tab right here? That one right there? That's where this goes to. It goes right there. And I did not mess with that. So whoever has previously been into this car has broke that. Oh, another reason why I like doing this YouTube thing, guys, is if I see anything like that, I can put that thing on the old camera and be like, uh-uh, I did not do that. Oh, we have confirmed that this has been taken apart. So, that is something that I will fix. But yeah. I think, it's been, I think it's been broken for a while. I'm not exactly sure what the hell it is. I thought it was a airbag sensor, but it's not. Some kind of a sensor. But I will take that plastic piece off and I will epoxy it and we will get back on there so where was we oh yeah we was trying to take this thing off ah. oh. and that's another thing that's messed up about car dealerships guys is this car right here they probably have no idea that this car has been in an accident and I have no clue. Carl, I probably never told him that this car was in an accident. But, the evidence says that this car has been in an accident. At least one. Was it a major accident? I don't know. Evidently, it was pretty major for them to be uh, replacing this top piece. Pretty major for that. I just can't believe that they replaced all this stuff and didn't replace that. 
But, you know, always cutting costs. And if they could have been bought by somebody, and they could have, uh, they could have wrecked it and had, uh, you know, one of these side mechanic body shops um, repair it and just never said nothing. Wow, guys. Whoever put this damn thing on didn't do it to ship that thing. Every boat on this damn thing is loose. It'll be it's damn easy to pull out these boats. What, they've been running half trigger. Alright, got four boats. Never seen that. They'll probably like, oh you're putting these all over the you're putting all your boats on the the cow and you're putting them here and you're putting them there and you're putting them back where they go? You ain't gonna never know. Trust me, I've been doing this long enough when I know where the bolts go. Now the reason why this thing's not falling off because it does have two millimeters in there that hold it while you get those four big ones started. Well, that is kind of nice to chip away them doing it. Um, let's go ahead and just hook this thing back up. Uh, and you know, man, where is my phone? What time is it? I don't want to be out here at 7 o'clock at night and stuff like that doing us. So, Alright, it's 7 11, so we probably got about another hour out here, guys. And then, uh, gonna shut it down for the night. I don't want to piss all the neighbors off. They already don't like me for taking care of my family. They literally think it is a crime here to take care of your family. I'm not even kidding you. They don't care if your family is starving here. They don't give a shit. The only thing they care about is nothing. Well, bitching, that's the only thing they care about. But Well, I'm going to tell you what. Everybody that I know around here, every man that I know around here that does everything they can to try to take their, care of their family, well, you would be surprised how many people around here are against that. Oh, what did I do? Oh, oh ain't that. Got a little, uh, couple rubber pieces down here on the bottom, guys. That, uh, just gotta take the old tool here and pop them off. Doesn't drop on the ground and fix something. All right, guys. Oh yeah, that thing most definitely been patched up. All right, we are going to paint this. But yeah, let me show you guys right here. See this piece right here? That's where that sensor goes. Where did that little sensor go. Is. This little sensor goes right there. So I don't know if something got up in there and snapped it off, or it broke off and somebody else took this off. But you can most definitely tell this thing's been taken off before. It has more than enough scratches on it. It shouldn't have any scratches on it. All right, we're gonna take this one here. I am not going to set this on top of the car. I'm just going to put it right on the ground for now. Okay, look at this, guys. Look at what we've done. This is getting to look 
Nice. What did that one guy say on uh, on here? This is looking fucking mint. <laughs> All right. You know what? I'm not seeing any reason. Let's see here. That don't attach to that. Oh, I think two bolts down at the bottom and these uh, two up here on top and I think this black piece will come right off piece here. I don't see it attached to anything. So, let's try that guys. I'm saying it'll be out here too much on it. So, I guess I could start up the old fire blaster, but Hey, the truth, guys. I really don't. Uh, I really don't like using that thing a lot because I get hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold. And then I wind up getting sick, and I can't afford to get sick right now. I got to get this thing done and uh, get that vehicle for my daughter as quick as I can. So getting sick is not an option. But yes, if I get too cold, then yes, I'm gonna have to uh, turn it on. Jesus Christ, Chevrolet, I wish I'd make up your fucking mind. What the fuck size goddamn boats y'all want? Fucking hell! Are you fucking serious? Really? All these fucking bolts, you gotta have a 12 fucking millimeter. No? What the fuck is a 10? It don't look like a 10. There's a 10. It doesn't look like a 10. But yeah, I think this thing out here is going to come on out. Okay. Also, if you notice that I put bolts on different sides of the towel. That's why it doesn't mix me up, only clothes go away. Oh wow guys. I think this is gonna be Ooh. Jesus was not cool. All these different size fucking sockets. And I'm cussing more in this video than I have probably in any of my videos. But man, let's see. Let's count them, guys. 10 millimeter, 13 millimeter, 12 millimeter, Torx bits. I think that was a 25 millimeter Torx bits. Um, 7 millimeter. Uh, what else was there? Is that it? That's it. So, so far, five different sockets. Five different sockets, just to get where we're at now. Five. Man, holy hell, guys. Okay, now we need to get the old popper. And next here we have uh, right there you have some wires that's on this light thing on both sides as you can clearly see it can just pop right on off headlight assembly wires Pretty careful taking this thing out. Where the hell is this? Oh, okay. That's cool. All right. Still looks like I'm gonna be pretty damn careful taking this thing out, so I'm not screwing up any. Oh yeah, that's loose as shit, guys. I think we are gonna be doing something that they say can't be done. So 
So, ain't no wires over here in my way. But I do got one wire on him over here. That, uh, is going to be kind of sketchy. And what you want to do, guys, is before you take something off like this, fill around it, make sure you have everything off. Because right now, I just pull this one wire over here. And I'd be damned if it doesn't attach to it. Oh, okay. I got one ground wire. Let me uh, lift y'all up a little bit. Get y'all over here. Let me do some zooming in. A little bit more. There we go. All right, guys. This wire loom right here is going to be in the way of taking this off. I mean, if I had two people, eh. But if you follow this wire loom all the way over here, right here, there is a 10 millimeter bolt and it's a ground wire. So you can take that off, move this out the way, and don't have to worry about it getting tangled up. I did not know that. Oh, there might be something that I'm going to have to do with that. Okay, now, the horn. Uh, there's two mi millimeter bolts to take the horn off, not unless you get your fingers in here. And you can see about where my hand is at. Just a little click to press down and pull out. There it is. That was actually what I even thought. Guys, I'm gonna see if I can't uh, lift this thing up. But this is loose, so this does come out. This part is loose, so this does come out. So, yes, guys, I do not see any reason why we can't get that motor out this way. None. At all. I think this is going to be pretty cool, guys. But I need to drain the radiator. And, uh... Where the hell is my drain bucket? Oh, good. see why the guy needed to take his bumper cover off now the bottom radiator hose the clamp is one of them squeeze ones well the squeeze part is pointed that way so it looks like eh, 
Yeah, it actually looks like the easier way to get that off is to take the front bumper cover off. So I gotta get a pair of quads, guys. I am back. These right here are the best pair of pliers for taking those damn clamps, clampy hoses off. Snag the radiators out, and uh, yeah, this is actually pretty cool, guys. So, it'll probably be, uh, this will be the second video today, so there'll probably be four or five with this car. A whole lot longer than, uh, did a lot longer videos than the car, but. Uh, I'm guessing four or five. I don't see six unless the six is a uh, the reveal of it running. I'm hoping five is the reveal of it running. Uh, there's guys on there. It's got videos that's got nine, ten parts. to get one of them damn uh I had one but the damn cable broke one of them long cables you know with the uh, uh little clamp thing on the end of it stuff like that to pull these out but now this one is I don't think I could get the damn thing on here if I had one of those things honestly Some nasty ass energy, guys. Woo! That is nasty. And this thing also must have this thing must have an internal leak. Yeah, look at that guy. That thing is just. Ooh. Can I see it down here real quick? Do I can get the light down here? Whoops. Do I can get up close to personal? There's a Look at that. Milky, nasty stuff. And this thing has to have a blow head gasket. 100% guarantee this thing's got a blow head gasket. I filled this thing up with water because it was about a gallon low. And I started it up and let it run in here. And man, I'm going to tell you, it just filled this whole damn garage up. It was insane. And uh, then I kind of did my diagnosis and everything. And realize and stuff like that that you know when I pulled off the intake uh, the uh, the intake the uh, air filter housing um, oil and water mixed was pouring all over me and the car and that's kind of the first clue and stuff like that but you know other things could do that but uh, no water you hear that 
nothing. There was no water in it, and I just filled this thing up with antifreeze before, uh, well, water, because it was didn't have no water in it when they brought it to me. And I filled it up with water and everything, let it run in here, man. I'm telling you, it was a white smoke in here. And uh, now I undo it again, and there's no water in it. So that's telling me that it's. I think it's blowed out two ways. I think it's blowed out the exhaust side the worst, and blowed out the fucking intake side where the water's dripping into the oil. Um, second, so I think this motor's got two problems: one, blown head gasket through the exhaust, and the other, blown head gasket through the intake side. That's why it's got milk and water in the oil. That's nasty. So yeah, there was only about a half a cup of water that came out of this thing. Yeah. All right, guys. How much time we got? It's six thirty. I think I'm gonna call it a night, guys. We have done a lot today. I consider. Um, the only thing we got to do tomorrow is get this assembly here out the way. Once I get this moved out the way, I can disconnect the AC condenser from the radiator. And since this is going to be out the way, all this here is going to be out the way. And I can just slide that condenser over here. And it's on got rubber hoses over here, so I'm not bending nothing. And uh, probably take a little bungee cord, you know tied up over here somewhere so it's out my way and yeah guys we are going to pull this motor out from the top we are going to do what they say can't be done and I don't see any reason why we can't alright guys give me a thumbs up share like and subscribe I'm going to go in the house and tomorrow morning we'll be back on this and if everything goes well, I'm hoping by tomorrow afternoon, this engine is out of here. It'd be really nice if this engine was out of here and the other one was put back in, but there's a lot of things we got to do. Especially be careful taking this engine out, because like I said, in fuel rails, $150 a piece if you destroy them. Taking them out. Yeah. So... I think once I get everything done and stuff like that, if it ain't too much of a pain in the ass to take them fuel rails the hell off of here, I'm going to go ahead and do that before I pull the engine. Because that's ridiculous. Alright guys, I'll catch you on the flip side and I'll see y'all tomorrow.